Hey Karu and Nikki, it's um, Friday, the 20th of July, the day after Sarah's birthday. Sarah's now 44, and I'm home from work because I got hit in the head playing soccer yesterday and I have a minor concussion. Actually, I get hit in the face. I was um, playing goalie in a rec leg and I came out. The guy was coming in one on one, so I came out and made myself big like goalies are supposed to do. And he shot the ball. I was very close to him and he hit me right in the face with it. I, you know, in the face. And I was wearing my glasses with the strap and the safety goggles and he hit me in the face and I don't, I'm a little fuzzy on what happened after that, but basically I fell down and I was sitting on the ground and my glasses were gone. I didn't know where they were. And I, uh, and I sat there for a while and I felt a little dizzy and disoriented. So I tried to stand up and I couldn't stand up. Um, I fell, <laughs> I kind of fell over. And so eventually, um, couple guys helped me walk to the sideline um, and I felt kind of queasy and dizzy from I'm, I feel pretty much okay now but um, yeah so I um, I can think that's my fifth soccer concussion so pretty exciting um, but it's one of those weird things where I had a headache last night and um, not surprisingly I slept well, um, but um, you know I kind of feel okay, but I feel a little tired and a little off. I told Sarah, you know, when I had concussions in high school and college, during the time when I had them, I wasn't sure that I was really feeling anything, but after I got better, I realized that I was feeling something and so I'm kind of at that point now where I'm not sure I, I kind of feel okay and I'm supposed to play in the farmers market play music this evening and I think I'm gonna go do that I don't see reason why not to um, but uh, I'm trying not to do any reading or uh, on the computer because I think that's supposed to be you know it can strain your eyes and give you a headache so um, yeah, I don't know it's kind of weird what Gareth is here. Gareth just passed his driver's test or his his permit test. So he got his Ooh. permit this morning. He still hasn't driven yet. So mom didn't let me drive home. So uh, he's very excited about that. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys know, say hi, and and uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, maybe we'll somebody will take some video footage of farmers market this evening. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, the other thing is we had a huge thunderstorm last night. We sat out on the porch and it was like, do you always like to come in this room and just make tons of noise when I'm trying to make a video? Is that your, is that your goal? You come in here and you bang around the plates and everything. Um, so yeah, a uh, uh, oh, huge thunderstorm last night. We sat out on the porch and enjoyed uh, it. And it was, uh, you know, we had power flashing on and off and, it was probably, we were out there for probably 40 minutes, and it was just, and at one point we were like, it, the lightning was flashing constantly. And Car so Carew did a sample because he's a geek. And he counted number of flashes in a minute, and he said it was at, we were having the lightning strike an average every three seconds during that minute. And it, it was pretty much like that the whole time. I mean, it was, we would have like just flashes everywhere all the time. I mean, multiple flashes every 10 seconds. And then, um, you know, we had four or five that were very, very close to where we were sitting. So anyway, and then it rained like cats and dogs. So uh, that's all I got. I'll talk to you uh, when I talk to you.